Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna show you guys a trick to build your base more safe and make it more, well, indestructible, so to speak. So, I've seen a lot of people just building their base and then put like a catwalk out, like up there uh, on the top one or something like that, and then put a, a turret on it. The problem with that is that the, ba the person who's attacking you can basically just shoot a single rocket uh, at the tower, the tower is gone. Uh, this way they can do it as well, but it's way harder. So what you see here is a just a small base that I built just to show you guys off how it works. Uh, first off, this is a two layered uh, base as you can see right here. Uh, the window frames is also two layers, I can show you real quick by doing, nope not there. Like that, you see, it's two layers. Uh, I can show, uh, I can show you how to build a two-layer building if you prefer it. But I believe most of the people out there already know how to do it, so I'm not really going to do going to that part. But if you want me to, I will make one. L let me know in the comments below if you want me to show you how to build it. Okay, next up is why is this good? Because if someone attacks you, they they don't see window frames and think instantly, okay, there's turrets behind. And so they attack you and they're like, oh, you need to take it out. What you're gonna do is you have a keypad anywhere in your house. It, c it can literally be like at the other end of your house. Press in the code and you open the window frames. The way you do this is basically just uh, hold E on the window and set, set pin code and then decide a code. All the codes has to be the same, by the way, so you won't have to press in one. And you just open and close. It's basically like a door, and it, just like that. And the turrets won't shoot unless the window frames are open. So you can have friends come over you're not allied with and stuff like that, and you can just close off the windows. Uh, now, what is good about this is that if they attack you, look at this. Um, you attack the wall, right? There's two walls, so they have to shoot, I believe it's... Let me check. Yeah, I believe it's like 11, 11 rocket shots at the wall before it breaks. And look in here. The turrets are all fine. They won't take any damage, of course. Is it totally fine? Now, this is gonna be a tricky part, so to speak. Uh, I'm just gonna real quick... Uh, yeah, create new tribe. Okay, now it should be owned by me, right? Yeah, so if I leave the tribe right now, uh, they are now against me, right? So, if I leave the- oops, re- Oops. <laughs> if I leave the tribe... Okay, I'm not in a tribe anymore. Alright, now, good. If- but I can I open them now? Actually, that- Uh... Let's, can I? Okay, I can. Good, 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 good. Okay, so now they're open. Let's pretend that I'm in an attack or something. I'm running around here. That's a quest right up there. Not even sure if it's gonna hit. Is it gonna hit? If that had kept going, it would have fucking hit it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, fuck, I have to go around now. Fuck me. I thought I could get around there. Oh, well, they are gonna shoot me, by the way. Like, it, they are put on high on all targets, so... Okay, so, let's see, say that I'm an attacker, right? Might be on a bird, might be on... Go oh, already shooting at me. Let's see if, if, if I managed to take out any turrets. I didn't, no turrets are down. They're still shooting at me, but I have guard mode on, just so you know. Uh, so I w don't take damage, but you can see I have to... If I didn't have guard mode on, you can... I can show you real quick. Uh, oops. Should not have guard mode on anymore, let's check. Yeah, I don't have. Okay, so, basically, normally you would have more towers than just six. It's just a preview. But as you can see, I am taking damage right now, right? And I have to shoot literally right in the hole for the towers to go down. I will see if I can do that. It's pretty hard, though. Oh. Do you see what, what I mean? 
There's no way I can manage to do it in the time that is needed. So it's a really, really smart and quick move to build a base. Just set up a foundation, put a window frame, and then turrets in, be in behind. It is not possible for a person where you have turrets on long range, long range to manage to shoot off a bull. You saw how fast I died instantly. That's just with six. Imagine what it's going to do to enemies, uh, dinos and such. It's a really, really good mo uh, way to defend your base because they can't just shoot off one shot and your turrets are gone. They have to shoot off 11 f to do remove the, the walls and then they have to shoot a second one to destroy the turrets. Uh, if they can manage to shoot in through the window, but I believe it will only take out two or three turrets, and since you have a ceiling on, you, they won't, uh, what is called, uh, be destroyed on the top layer, so you will still keep going. I can, will show you real quick my base and how I'm building it right now to show you off. And we're back guys, so, okay, we are on a server that I'm currently, play currently playing on. Uh, I'll let you know that I'm not fully done with the setup to build these turrets behind. Uh, so far I have only made the uh, window frames and such. I'll show you how it looks like on the inside. Uh, so, you know how it, it works, so to speak. So, you make these kind of... Um, corridors I guess where this is the outer ring uh, with all the window frames in it and then you have this ring in here where you put the turrets and then you have a wall and then for every single corridor you put a oh okay <laughs> lag there I guess uh, you put a ceilings on top and you have another ring so basically right now I believe I have four rings and I'll open them all up for you to see how it works I do not have turrets inside of any of them yet because I am playing alone uh, and it's not a modded server and it has a gallery rate of 2 I believe and it's like really hardcore but as you can see right here I have a lot of window frames a lot and I <laughs> really do mean a lot of them I believe there is 12 long on these two sides times four like a lot and then there's like fucking four layers it's a lot as you can see all the way around and you can see over here I have laid out the foundation to the next ring or like around the this part as well because I haven't made it this far yet uh, because again I am alone so it takes a lot of time uh, but, as you saw in the video where I showed you on a single player server, it is really strong and that was only with 6 turrets that you die almost instantly. This will rent through any kind of dinosaur, like, really, really quickly. Imagine if a fucking, say, let's uh, just say a Giga or something comes walking in here. I have, let's see... Two, six times four, that's 24 on that side. Mm, how many will be like? Mm, let me guess, like 40 maybe, about 40. But let's say 60 turrets facing this way. All shooting at this Giga running towards them. It's gonna go down really quickly. I don't care how much HP it has, it's gonna go really fast. Uh, <laughs> because they can all shoot, because you have to put them on high and long range uh high range and uh no warning and uh all targets no no not all targets uh tamed and uh what's called uh players only tamed down and players alone and as well as over here if they try to f go on the f side or something and birds coming from here i have all those so it's a really good defense. I, it may cost a lot, but again, if you just... A lot of uh, people or players put on turrets on like... As you can see up here, I have a, like, a turret on top of my house. That turret is gone instantly. Like, if a person 
attacks me and they shoot at this, it's gonna be really hard to get it through the window so it actually takes out the turrets. But if they manage to do it, they'll take out three, like... If they shoot out in right here and, and hit it, they'll take out these three, I believe. These three over here will still be intact. The three levels of little layers above will still be attacked. There will still be so many um, towers shooting. They have to shoot, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times perfectly for, you, for them to take out all these tur turrets. And you have to, like, just keep going because it can only take out three at a time maximum. So that's like one, two, three, four times four. So that's 16 shot to uh, rocket launchers on this side. It's so many shots they have to take out before they actually destroy them and they will most likely die before they can get there. And it's the, in my opinion, it's the best defense you can make in the entire game to defend to defend your build, uh, base it's really expensive but trust me it works I will add though you need to have turrets or some form of attack on the top top layer excuse me uh, because people can't fly over your building and just shoot rockets down on your roof and go in through the roof I will show you how to deal with that another day uh, because there is a way to easily deal with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the, this video and learned something about it. Maybe come up with your own design to how to build it. I just want to show you one of the best ways you can defend your base against raiders. It might be expensive, but it's really, really effective. Trust me, I know. I have seen it in action. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Please remember to throw down a like and subscribe to my channel for more like this. I might do more tips and tricks in the future about more games. Uh, but this is one of the first videos I made for ARK. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you all next time, guys. Peace out. Everything changes.